Hey everybody, it's 123MrB here, going to talk about finding the greatest common factor by inspection. Inspection means you're just kind of looking at it and you can see. So what we're going to think about is, what are the ways to, uh, if we know these short little numbers like this, we should be able to see right away how we can build them. There's a 1 times 20, there's a 2 times 10, there's a 4 times 5. So we're not actually buckling down and calculating stuff. This is something that should be happening here. Now, uh, like, we're, you know, we're not working too hard at this stage. Uh, at this at this stage. Now let's look at this number 30. 30 has got a lot more factors but all I really need to do to find the greatest common factor is test out these factors. If not, if you know I don't need to test for other numbers that aren't these factors I'm trying to find the greatest common factor. Is uh, 20 times anything give me 30? Um, the answer is no because it's uh, I mean one of course uh, uh, 1.5 it would but we're looking at whole numbers here. So 20 is out, but what about 10? Can I do 10 times something, give me 30? And the answer is yes, of course you can, 10 times 3. So somehow in the list of 30, we know we have a 3 and a 10. Okay, the rest of it to us doesn't really matter right now. We just saved a bunch of time. We know that 10 must be the greatest common factor for uh, 20 and 30. And of course we can see that just by, we probably can see that just by looking at it. But this is what we're kind of talking about. Another one for us here is, is this here. Um, I'm going to find the, the factors for the smaller number first again. 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, 20. Okay, now trying to find the factors for 40. I'm just going to look at these factors of the smaller number and see uh, which is the greatest number that works. So I'm, I'm not even going to test other numbers other than these ones. So I'm going to start at the biggest number. Uh, is there a 20 times something gives me 40? We know it's 20 times 2 as the rolling janitor car goes by. Okay, so, so 20 times 2 gives us 40, so that means that on the list of factors for 40, you know, we have 1 and 40, and then somehow we're going to have 2 and 20 are going to be in there, and all this stuff in the matter in the middle doesn't matter. We just saved a bunch of time, okay? And we know that the largest factor on both lists is guaranteed to be 20. So that's one of the ways we can look at getting the greatest common factor, or the GCF, by inspection, is find the factors of the smaller number first, test those numbers out and uh, and just see which one matches real quick so it's a really quick little nice way